Hey, what's up guys and gals, Rick and IG here with another episode, but this time coming from Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, guys, this game is pretty fun. Honestly, honestly, it's not exactly what I expected. There are some things I like, and I do have some gripes about the game, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it's doing pretty well also, just sell selling-wise. Um, so what I want to show you in this video is seven important things that you should know about before buying this game, or even if you have this game, things you might not even know. It's already 7.40 a.m., and you will know if you have played that the time goes by really quickly, 7.50. I think about every 10 seconds, uh, 10 minutes goes up. So as you can see, 8 o'clock, boom. So first thing you want to do is you get up. I would always suggest you, first tip, don't click on the TV like that. You want to get the weather report. The weather report tells you what's happening tomorrow. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. It'll tell you if it's raining or what it would be. Fortune teller tells you, I think you'll have a little extra luck. Or maybe you won't be lucky today. It'll actually tell you that. And then the last show um, on the TV, it's not every day, but it gives you some type of tip or advice or recipe or many different things. I think this happens once or twice a week. So make sure to do that. That is a great tip. Tip number two, guys. Oh, look at the doggy sleeping. Let's not wake him up, guys. Shh. All right, guys. So the second tip I want to show you is this energy bar. This energy bar is so important. I want to start chopping some trees so I can show you something. As you see, as I'm chopping trees, look at the energy bar, how it starts to go down. This is unlike a lot of games because what's actually happening is your energy is going down. And when that hits all the way at the bottom, you're down for the count. You basically knock out. And so that's one bad thing about this game that uh, some people, I don't know, they don't really like. I'm kind of on the fence about, let's say I do some mining. Uh, I got to switch to the pickaxe. See that? It went down. And so as you walk and do things, that goes down. And so be aware of that. This is kind of like an oxygen bar, okay? As you work, it drains, and you need to go to sleep before 2 a.m. And so make sure to look at that, and don't let this go all the way down. You can also replenish this with food, which I will show you about in a little bit. All right, so the third tip, and that would be by pressing Escape um, or E. Um, you can actually go to Options. Always do this, guys. Always show Tooltip Hit Location. Hit that. Why is that? Well, you see that red uh, box there? So look what happens. When I water my plants, you will see that. So wherever I point it, I want it to water this. I know what it's watering. Let me show you if I take this off. You see, and I'm here. Okay, what is this going to water? Oh, see, I wanted it to water that, but it didn't. And so if you water here, see, I'm trying to water this, and I'll water here. But if you have that tool tip on right there, you will always know where you will water. You will, oh, right there. Let me try over here where I don't have anything. So you'll always know where you're watering because, of course, your marker will be there. So that's a great tip. Don't forget about it. It'll help you out. All right, the next tip, guys. You're not going to get all the gameplay at first, which means, look, right now as I'm playing this game, shut up, dog. Um, <laughs> I just got something. I was just able to get um, the furnace recipe. And so it's, it's kind of like Minecraft in that it opens up things as you go along, but you can later get chickens and so many things expand and change as you play the game and so don't forget that I know a lot of people I have heard that they're like oh I don't like this game and stuff well a lot of the gameplay changes as you play more and so just be aware of that okay alright the next tip get moving guys or you'll be late and you are probably like what in the world are you talking about well let me show you it is 1230 right now let's say I want to get to a place by 1 uh, 1 p.m. And I look up here and I'm like, oh, wow, look, there's a bus here and so forth. Look at that. It is already, before I even get to any building on this side, 1 p.m. And look, I'm most likely not going to see. I've just made it. Um, not even. Let's say I need to get, I wanted to get to this building by 1. Look, it's already 1.10. Why is that important? Well, look, this shop opens, I believe, at 4. Uh, opens at 9, ends at 4. Let's say you're out fishing or doing something. Look at this. It's already 1.20. Time goes by really fast. And that could be bad because sometimes things aren't open and you're trying to do things. And so you need to really watch this time and plan accordingly. Get used to it. All right? 
Alright, the next tip. Very important. Fishing is not what you might think. That was a horrible cast. Oh, okay. Joja Cola. Alright. Oh, I, it's completely full. Um, I'm gonna throw away the fiber. And what I mean by that, guys, is that it's hard. In the beginning, it's really hard. There's this bar where you have to keep the fish or whatever you're getting in that bar. And if you don't do that correctly, it will just not work. But as you fish more, it gets easier. See, I got to hit there. And look, see, this is the bar. So I got to click and I got to make sure that this stays with the fish. If See, it's not easy because I'm trying to kind of keep it with the fish and the bar at the right is not going to the top if it goes to the top I'm really trying here maybe I'm not good at it maybe I'm not used to it guys but it's really tough and I'm almost getting the fish and look I lost it there a little bit almost almost okay I got it but that was hard like I sweat I did sweat a little bit um, and so be careful and practice and don't get frustrated with fishing it takes time but you'll get it Alright guys, and the last tip, number seven, has to do with seeds and acorns. And so, how do you get acorns and seeds? Well, yes, you can chop down lots of trees, but there's another better way of doing it. If you look over here in the crafting, you will eventually get, if you haven't yet, get this field snack. And this is important to replenish your energy, but you need acorns, maple seeds, and pine cones. So how do you do that? Well, if you look, these little poops right here are those things. And the problem is... Um, that I didn't know what these were like I was like what are these so you gotta be on the side of them it doesn't really work if you're like like this you kinda have to be on the side and get them and look at this I'm having acorns aplenty literally they are everywhere now how do you get the other stuff well these are pine trees um, these are not and so if you let me just scythe this over here if you left click there we go I just got a pine cone so you have to right click actually and you get pine cones and then these I think are maple right and I think I should be able to get a maple seed you just kinda have to try a few trees it's kind of a random drop you don't get it all the time of course as you can see okay and so as you continue it's getting darker here but you basically uh, want to stand on the side to be able to get these you can't stand on top there we go I got one and so just these little poopies over here just make sure to hit them and already here this is a small tree growing but as long as you got this guys you're good I hope this stuff helped you please leave a like on this video if any of this helped you or if you enjoyed watching this I would really appreciate it. if there are any other tips that you want to give me or share with everyone else just let me know and I can share them in another video down in the comments below um, you guys are awesome you guys are great I will see you all very 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 soon take care now and don't forget be hopeful